Last time, it was a sodden affair at the North Island Champs at Pukekohe. It's really wet. Just going to take it easy this round. While well, there were some promising results. Yeah, babe. I finished off strong, which gives me confidence for my next show. For Sophia, it was a show she wished she missed. We were coming to the second to last fence. She jumped up and then twisted her body <gasps> and just sent me flying out of the saddle. At first, they thought that I might be paralysed on my left side because I couldn't feel any of my left side or move it, but it was just swelling on my nerves because of the way that I landed. So that first few days was quite scary. I've broken seven bones, but my back has definitely been the worst one by far. The first week was awful, absolutely awful. They couldn't give me enough painkillers to make me comfortable. And then, but luckily it's healed quicker than anything else I've had as well. Oh. Two weeks later, Sophia is out of the hospital and is on the mend, but can't keep herself away from the next show. I kind of just miss being around horses. If my mum was here right now, she'd tell me to get away so that they don't knock me over, but she can't see me, so it's fine. Sophia's hopeful she'll be jumping again in 10 weeks, time enough to catch up to the main event of the season. I think I'll have enough points that I qualify for Horse of the Year. But I don't think I'm going to be up there in the leaderboard. I think that's me done, unless I have, like, a streak of luck and I win four more. For now, Sophia has taken up a coaching role with her bestie Dylan, who is competing in his first young rider at Woodhill Sands near Auckland. Me and Dylan have been best friends for years, and he brought Kenny about six months ago. This is Kenny's first young as well, because he's only eight years old. It's quite high, isn't it? It's quite high. I can't really reach, can't really reach the top very comfortably. And he's so big that he literally just steps over the jump. So Dylan just needs to stay out of his way and steer him round. It's quite open. You're probably going to have to stay quite forward. Yeah. With Dylan, it's trying to make him remember where he's going because he's really bad with walking his courses. He's like, oh, it's fine. It'll be fine. And I'm like, Dylan, where are you going? He's like, I don't know. And then he gets lost halfway around. You got it? Yeah, I've got it. OK, how many strides between number nine and 10? Number nine and ten. Yeah. Eight. Good. OK. So, yeah, I've got it all locked in. You've got it all locked in? Three months is the longest I've not ridden for in my life. OK. My well, heart's pounding. Since I was three years old, I've always been riding. Oh, oh, he rattled it. OK. I'm nervous. I understand now. Beautiful. I'm just going to be coming to all the shows and I love seeing my friends do well, so at least I get to live through them. Oh, sit them up, sit them up, sit them up, sit them up, sit them up. <gasps> OK. Woo! Countdown is on two and a half months left to go. That hurts the soul. Over at Annie's place, the turkeys are talking about the new Farno member. <laughs> so this is Dixie. She's four weeks old. Hey, Dixie. In a few weeks or so, she'll probably get a halter on, and then at six months, we'll wean her. Long-term plans for Dixie is to do the um, age group series classes. She's going to be. A bit of a sexy one, I think, though. She's got quite an attitude. Who knows? We might see young Dixie competing at a horse show in four years' time. Amy's young rider season was cut short recently after her horse Slinky injured himself. He fully rolled over on the concrete and kind of knocked himself out. But thankfully, there's a new kid on the block. So this is my new horse, Rusty, or in the ring known as Resolution. He's 15, very experienced boy. So we're hoping to get him in the youngs pretty quickly and he'll be taking over Slinky's spot. When looking to buy a show jumper, find a horse with powerful hindquarters, compact and athletic frame, and a strong top line. Before Rusty can do any jumping, he needs some new kicks. So the ferry is here to do the job. Feet are so important for the horse. Like, they need to be comfortable, balanced, have everything perfect. 
a good farrier is very important to like keeping the horse sound and everything, but it's not just the shoe in general, it's the whole foot health. We've had him for a week and a half. To prepare us for the young riders, it's just confidence and getting to know each other, because obviously a very new combination. I'm used to a really hot, fiery horse that will drag me, and that is not Rossity. He is a slow boy. He feels pretty big and just kind of plods along. This duo needs to bond quickly to have any hope of making it to the Young Rider Final at Horse of the Year. It's just building confidence and trust and getting competitive, hoping that he'll be in the Young Rider class by Horse of the Year. The Young Horse Show in Hawke's Bay is just a few days away. Sam is gearing herself up for the big event. It's my favourite show of the year, that one, so I'd love to be competitive. And there's a cup up for grabs and, yeah, it'd be nice to win that. <laughs> Gilbert, Sam's young rider horse, has overcome a bad case of mud fever and is ready to compete again. But today, it's just a light hack to keep him moving. Bit of a canter around the paddock in a nice open space. Tessa is also headed to the Young Horse Show <laughs> and has been putting in the mahi to get her hoi ho fit and ready to jump. Stella loves her bareback rides and I love riding her bareback. Once a week I try and go for a fun ride like this and she honestly, she loves it so much. I think bareback's so beneficial. At one point you're obviously going to lose your stirrups when you're show jumping. You don't have stirrups when you're riding bareback so it's pretty good. On the hot summer days we've been experiencing at the moment, now the end of the day off in the river, the horses love it, like they never want to leave. Stella won't be travelling alone to the Young Horse Show this weekend. Tessa also has her Queen Bee entered for the junior rider. Bee, she's six this season and she's 15 too. She's quite a small pocket rocker, I'd say. Started the season off with B doing metre tens and I'm doing premier junior riders now. So I'm really stoked with that. Tomoana showgrounds are packed with horses and riders ahead of today's young horse show. I've also made my trip down to Hawke's Bay with my $2 five-year-old horse, Blue. We're rushing because <laughs> we're late to do the mighty metre. The reason we're late is because I was humming and hurrying to see if I was going to do the metre or the metre 10. And I decided to do the metre and now we're late. Tara has been up since the crack of dawn to prepare her seven horses for competition. All feeds were out by 10 past five. I came out and I rode Emmy and Bazinga, so my junior rider mare and my young rider horse. Emmy's going to be the mare I nominate today. Double J image, and this is Missy, aka I Catherine. Missy's coming out to get more junior starts to try and promote her sale and get her a new home. All warmed up, Blue and I are looking good as we power through the one metre. And then this happened. We just came in and he kind of backed off, and then he was like, actually, no, go. Sorry, boy. <laughs> You're a bloody good horse, mate. Sorry, bud. Thanks, judges. That fence was all me, I'll tell you what. That felt like I was flying. That's the glasses, that's what it was. Gave him the extra energy. Come on, boy. I reckon if I get him some glasses, then we'll just be able to go straight into, like, Grand Prix. And the mullet out the back, that definitely saved me as well, because it's like aerodynamics. If only they'd let me wear some shorts, shorts in them around the ring. That would just make it even better. It's junior rider time, and Tara is warming up her nominated horse, Emmy, to go first. She's king. It's getting hot, though. The junior rider course is built at a metre 15 to a metre 25. There's a triple at five and a Liverpool at seven. Next to go to the Tara Gower, Double J, and Super keen, super careful. Short. She listened really well in the trebles, a lot longer coming in and a lot shorter coming out than I walked. But she handled it really well. She was really obliging. Ah. I got a rub in the one stroke, which I'm too happy about, just because she's bending herself to the inside, which is causing it. 
she sat up beautifully for the seven. Good kill. Thank you, Sergeant. Saw her in the jump off, which I'm stoked about. Real happy with her. She did everything she was told and more. I'm going to go hop on Missy and go try and get a second. Tessa and Queen Bee are focused and ready for their round. My biggest competition is probably Tara. You know, she's entering two horses, so I'm just trying to maybe beat one of them. It was a really nice track, pretty speedy. She was pretty fast, just trying to pull her back half the time. Whoa! I just got really deep to knock her, and I just pulled too much. I should have let her go, and that's why we had it down. The round felt amazing, you know, she was feeling so good. Good girl. It was definitely a confidence boost around. She just wants to get back out there and do it again. It's Tara on her number two horse, Missy, next. With Missy, she just needs to stay slow and collected, and then she gets a bit more ground speed as the jumps get up. She just jumped awesome, saved my butt through the treble. And then just coming into the double, she's just looking at the shadows a little bit and dropping her front end and then launching it back in a bit. Thank you. Thank you, judges. It's only onwards and upwards from here with her. The four folds means that Missy will miss the jump off, but Tara's nominated horse, Emmy, has the chance to go all the way in the jump off. 11, 4, 5 AB, 12, 8, and then sit her back on her bum for the last fence, which is the liver pole, which needs a lot of respect. All right, let's go. It's jump off time. Emmy makes her time up in the corners. I just had to make sure I got my job done. Got a bit lucky at fence 12. She was really good to me. I got to open her up a couple of times. It's back to back wins. She won it last year. Mr. came third. I was very pleased with the girls. And as the fastest four falter, it's a podium finish for Tessa too. And it's not just ribbons at this show. <laughs> it's sparkling grape juice all around. Oh, that went on my nose. <laughs> Amy's also here, competing with her freshly shod behemoth, Trusty Rusty. This is our first show together. Today's just going to start in the 120, and then tomorrow the meter 25. Always feels tired. When Rusty goes, he's very slow. So you kind of look at him, he's like, is he actually going to make it over this? But he always throws an amazing shape and just digs deep and gets out of it. He's been jumping in the 40s and Grand Prix, so he's ready for it. It's just if we are ready for it together, which I think we're like getting to know each other pretty quickly. It's good just working our way up slowly for him, but yeah, it should be a good setup for the young rider next weekend. He was jumping good. In preparation for the young rider class, Annie is getting her hoi ho, Sam straightened out with some physio. Sam doesn't really get physio on a timeline, just whenever we feel she needs it and always makes her feel a lot better afterwards and can see the improvement in her jumping. She's a lot more free and... <laughs> Doing an awesome job with her. Let's go. Come on, lift your back, you can do it. Oh, it's hard work, oh, it's hard work. Going pretty well on the youngs. She's doing jumping very good. Got a few placings at the last couple of shows. So hopefully we can carry that on at this show. Sam's quite relaxed when she gets her physio. She, she quite enjoys that. Tara is busy getting Bazinga loosened up for the young rider as well. This just helps free up his muscles, get him feeling fresh and more moving. Especially on these hot days, Bazinga finds it a bit tough some days, so by doing this, it just helps him 
Perhaps keep him free and happy. This is the place where there's going to be a lot of competition. For Carringtons, Kim has been very good, and Sam is Gilly's back up there. He looks like he's feeling awesome again. Speaking of the Carrington sisters, they're in full preparation for the young rider. For lunch, Harry's had some fibre fresh and oats. Um, and I think he had a bee burst this morning, so hopefully he's got enough energy for that. The full belly. He doesn't look very energised. Harry should be pretty prepared. He's really nice and fit now, and he's been jumping really well lately. Don't bite me. <laughs> Just like grabs your clothing all the time. <laughs> Harry. For safety of other horses and humans at horse shows, all stallions must be identified with a red and white ID tag. It's time for the young rider class with 22 strong entries. It was a pretty good course, good striding, not too many off stridings we have to hold or push, so that's good for me. Feeling good. It's a nice open track, so slow and steady. Use the space I've got really to set myself up. It's quite technical, but it's very kind, so not too high, which is nice. I don't really know what to expect of him just yet. I'll see what I get when I warm up, to be honest. You've got to do what you've got to do to try and get a clear round. The young rider course is similar to the junior rider, but jumps are measured at a metre 25 to a metre 35. There's plenty of figure of eights, and riders will have to prepare for each jump carefully. The first combination to go is Danny Muffet, riding to match the attacker. Let's see what this freshly stretched out hoi ho can do. Pushing in, she's got too deep. Couldn't just quite make the striding, we just took the last of the double out. And of course, the last double came down there for Annie Buffett, riding Samantha's attacker. She gets the four jump faults. Oh, I think she's cut fast. Good girl. Next to go is Kimberly Carrington from Tacapel, riding double J Typhoon. Once I had that rail, I tried to cut to 10. I made a tighter turn to that, so maybe if there's not that many clues, I might get a faster full falter. Well, the fourth two, one rail down for Kimberly Carrington. The time is 78.9. my Harry. <laughs> Needed to slow down. Harry's in no mood to discuss this further just as well as Tessa and Stella are up next. I was quite nervous to start off with, but it's kind of that thing, like once I've started, then you settle down and really it's all good. Had a little bit of a mishap coming into number two. We weren't quite on the same page, but we got through that. I love the grounds and it wasn't too big, it wasn't really scary. I was just a bit forward into the vertical, I head down. Whoa! Good girl. Well, fence nine came down for Tessa Mason with four jump faults. It was really good. She's feeling really good. Cheer, Tessa. Sam and Gilbert are blitzing the course in their first round. A massive improvement on last time when they were here and failed to get over the first fence. Come round to the last line. I've spoken quite a bit at the tents and stuff, but he kept jumping, so it's the main thing. Oh. A little encouragement from Sam. Oh. And not clear. We got through the finish flags, not just through the start this time, so it's much better. Yep. <laughs> good boy. He's feeling good again, thank God. Tara's last to go, but Bazinga is putting up a challenge. He was just sticking his head up and shaking it, which makes it harder for me to make a distance. And then on takeoff, he's pulling back, jumping forward, but then kind of trying to drop his legs halfway over as a way to tell me that he's annoyed at me. Oh, you are an ass. Okay, round 
that double, I was like, come on, dude, come on. Brought him back, gave him his distance, and he just went, you know what? No. Two fences down for Tarago, riding River Hill Bay Uh-uh-uh. No, I'm not happy with you either. With the first round complete, it's time for the serious business. So the course is all set for the jump off for the young rider class. Six riders have made it through, including Sam. First combination to go in the jump off will be Emily Ramsden riding Euro Champagne. Emily and Euro Champagne have been in top form, winning the last two events. Well, what a magnificent round that was from Emily Ramsden. Very good time of 36.86. It's going to take a fast and perfect ride for Sam and Gilbert to win. Jumped one and jumped it nicely. Just shaved the corner. Round to jump two, I probably squared that off a bit too much. Flying down to three, jumped that well. Through the double. Just ran down here. Probably didn't sit up enough and had it down, which was very annoying. Still going fairly quick through the flags. Well, that's a very good time there from Sam Carrington, 37.72. So 41 rail down to get four jump bolts. That was a good round. She should be happy with that. He jumped really well. He looked confident. See what she says. She'll probably have something to complain about. <laughs> Did a nice jump off. He was good and quick. Bit of a bug ride the rail down, but I wouldn't have won it anyway with my time, so it's OK. First place goes to Emily Rampson, riding Euro Champagne. Fourth to Sam Carrington, riding Double J Hurricane. Kim moves into fifth place on the Young Rider leaderboard. Sophia out with an injury, slips down to sixth. And Sam maintains her top 10 position. Next time, we're off to the Taranaki show. One of my favorites on the show card. He was jumping awesome, trying so hard. Me and Courage get some Ooh. tips from Sophia. This yeah, that's good. Can I start there? Hold him, hold him, hold him. That's fine, do it again. And his young riders gone to the dogs. Kare wa enzeroni.